talking about is what we will be utilizing this year. Our total budget, the township's total budget for this year is $10,228,628. Um, last year it was $8,455,000. Seven seventy six, which is a about a twenty one percent increase. Okay, but don't freak out. Let me explain why. Um, out of the eight funds that we use or that we distribute money out of or or pay bills with, two of them are with the parks, and uh, it's paid by COET. No tax dollars other than the COET money. And you can say COET is tax dollars, but but it's from as far as property tax goes, okay. So that is money. For instance, last year the Nine Vernon Park Capital Fund, uh, we we uh, budgeted a million two. This year they budge for next for 2013 they budgeted 2.5 million. So there's already 1.2 million of that that 1.7 increase, okay. The other thing is the fire. The fire fund is um, for next year's 1.6 million. This year we only budgeted 921,000. However, I should have actually budgeted a little bit more to cover some other things, which would have made it 1.6 million. Uh, we have an additional appropriation we're going to be going through here in a little bit. But so actually we're looking at 1.6 million this year and next year. Uh, but because because I only budgeted nine hundred twenty one thousand last year, there's your, there's another six mi or six hundred thousand there. So there there you go. When you talk about the one point seven million, it's actually it's actually not as bad as what you really think. Okay. Uh, so so let me now that I've said that um, one of the things about COET next year, it's going to go down. This year, as you know, last in 2011 and 2012, there was an error in the COET from the state, and they had they made that up earlier this year. Well, our COET's going to drop uh, for next year in the range of about a half a million dollars. Okay. Now, let me tell you, it will change probably a couple more times. I mean, they're saying it's a certified, you know, COET money, and and uh, uh, and that could be. But I've had experiences where they, they change it as we go through the end of the year. Now, they will make that change, that final change will come when we get our 1782 notice uh, later this year or the first of the year. They'll say, nope, you don't have that much COET, or hey, we found some more, you do get more COET. So don't get too concerned about, about the drop of the half a million dollars in the COET this year. I, I, you know, we're, we're going to be fine uh, no, no matter what. Um, so let me go back and I'll go back and let's start with the general fund. Um, uh, it's 832,200 this year or for next year. It's a $79,444 increase, okay? 50,000 of that is for the grants. So we're only actually increasing the, our budget 29,444. I told you earlier uh, during the salary ordinance, uh, I have increased uh, my clerk to uh, increase it 3865 and the reason I've worked with her for the past six years she does a fantastic job and I count on it we rely on her a lot and uh, so what I am doing I'm moving uh, I'm going to make her deputy trustee come the first of the year okay I've ha been away at times and I've counted on her she's always done a good job so I'm bringing it into the office so I've always had it on the outside, but now I'm going to bring it in the office. She can, and one of the things that we do in our office uh, from, the, from the government standpoint is when we have somebody comes in and needs assistance or whatever, we are pretty good about getting checks out to the vendors or whoever it may be pretty quickly. If I'm not in the office, this allows her to go ahead and sign the checks, okay? Uh, so, uh, and like I say, I've been with her for six years, and I trust her with with my family. I, I will say that she's she's a she's a hard worker, and most of you, uh, whenever you need something, you don't call me; you call her. So, I mean, that's just the just the way it is. Uh, so, anyway, that's why when you somebody says that kind of a raise, well, she deserves it, and I would I would support that, you know, several times over. 
because she does that type of a job for me and I appreciate it. Okay, uh, the other, in, in going through, you have this sheet here. You have this sheet? Yes. And I'm using that sheet because the state sheet is, a, it doesn't break it down as much, so I'm using that. Now, as we go through here, unless you have a problem or have a question on the general fund budget, using these, uh, the, the uh, green and white line items, okay if you as we go down the weeks that's that was category one that's really the only change in category one category two it's eight thousand three hundred it's been that way for the last several years we aren't changing anything there that's on supplies category three is where everything that that's where our big money's at okay um that alone is in the range of four hundred eighty-two thousand dollars, okay, um, and that that included before you reduced it tonight. That included the three hundred nine thousand dollars that actually the um, the grants that came in. The request of grants was three hundred nine thousand, and we went back and reduced it two hundred fifty thousand. So, so again, that's that's. You know that's where you see the difference there in, in in category three but let me talk about category three besides the change in the grants um Excuse me. you have uh, ground maintenance and ground maintenance on that sheet is uh item f c and we're increasing that five thousand dollars for next year and this is due to you know our wonderful dry weather we had we're going to be replacing a lot of damaged trees and bushes in the, on this complex alone um, the fire department uh, out at station number two which which is owned by actually owned by the the township they they lost I'm trying to think was it 20 trees Debbie was a 20 trees, and we're getting a refund from it from the company that that does the uh, fertilizing and stuff they killed off 20 trees so they're paying us twenty thousand dollars and and we will be replanting those trees next year so we got to, we'll have to pay for that but it's not going to cost us twenty thousand we're probably looking around five thousand dollars what it's going to end up costing us okay um the, the other item is cemetery and weed control and i've increased it five thousand dollars from 25 to 30 <coughs> i'm sorry from 30 to thirty five thousand and um it has a lot to do with the increase in, in fuel. Uh, uh, we're going to have to probably um, raise the cost of that come next year on our on our quotes from that. But also maintenance on the headstones. Uh, we've got some broken ones, some some of them that need to be repaired. That we will be bringing uh, a, a, a um, um, restoration company in that will repair those. So that's where the additional five thousand and probably plus will be going. We've already talked about the grants. Uh, the item also item number N F is uh, under the Home Place Library Museum, and I have increased that ten thousand dollars. That is going to be a remodel of the bathroom and the kitchen. I don't know if you've ever been in there. But if you like pink and green and black tile, plastic tile in the bathroom, you'd love it. And if you like the old metal, 1950 metal cabinets in the kitchen, you'd love it. Uh, but we're going to go in there and we're going to tear that all out in the bathroom and, and the kitchen and redone. If you haven't been over there, we've done a lot of work to that museum and library over there. And the, um, a lot of the veterans have really taken taken that to heart and they've done a lot of good positive things and again I tell people and kids all the time you need to go over there and just listen to what these these uh, uh, veterans have to say uh, they, they meet in here the fourth Thursday of every month and uh, they have a big group that comes in and they have a speaker and I, I, I was amazed at the people the younger people that came in just to hear them talk uh, but but it, they are fascinating and and it's nice to be able to do the township is able to do take care of that house over there and upgrade some things because it was really falling apart so that's that's that ten thousand the very last one is item O trustee trustees request for additional grant or projects I've done videos in the past that's where I've taken the money out 
if you have somebody come back in here a grantee that comes back in here that is really desperate um, it's ten thousand dollars is what I put in there um, if you have them come back and you guys want to grant somebody money they would have to go through this process for an emergency appropriation or whatever uh, then that's what that's for can you explain that a little bit more okay Doug? if if we have somebody out there that organization that may be um, that we work with a lot or something that is desperate that's real I mean because there's a lot of not-for-profits out there that are beginning to close shop and if we run across a situation that we that they need some funds to get by I have taken ten thousand dollars and put into this fund <coughs> or if we like a project now I don't plan on doing any more videos but I have taken it in the past from from this account to do videos on what we do in our office um, and you know some things like the cemetery videos and and uh, the the weeds that we we, we uh, work on and and also basically township assistance stuff so basically it's those two items uh, that the ten thousand dollars there for you know so if you ever run across somebody that hey we do a lot of work with these people and they could use a couple thousand or five thousand or whatever then you know you can have them contact me and I'll bring it back to you the board for the for your approval didn't we do an appropriation a couple of years ago from this fund to meals on wheels toward the end of the year mm -hmm. we did mm -hmm. because their initial yes. request was so low and they were so they were very desperate toward the end of the year mm -hmm. Right. That's the spirit of what you're talking about, right? Right. right. Okay, and then uh, that's all the cattle category three. Category four is it's been the same for the since I've been here. It's nine thousand dollars in category four. Now, do you have anybody have any questions on the general fund budget? Uh, there's a few of them that went down. Uh, the rental on GC web website it went from fifty five hundred down to a thousand. Um, and then there's a couple of other minor ones that went down but uh, that's that's the big ones and uh, if you if you don't have any questions on the general fund then we can move on to the debt service any questions Paul Matt no. all right thank you go ahead okay the debt service uh, increased about four thousand two hundred thirty and it's not much we can do about that uh, because it's just a fluctuation of the AV and stuff. You, you're going to see that um, uh, it's 10 percent of it goes for the two new fire scenes out west, which will be paid off in 2016. Okay, and then the 90 percent is Central Park, which will be paid off in 2026. Okay, so uh, whoever's here the next four years after we leave, then uh, they'll be paying off those fire stations. And like I say, just it's 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 four million nine hundred fifty thousand six hundred forty-four dollars. So it's an increase of forty-two hundred dollars, forty-two thirty. Any questions on debt service? Yeah. Okay. The next one is township assistance, one hundred seventy-two thousand, and that I've kept that at for the last three years. I know, um, and it's, it, again, it's got a strong cash balance in there. We're doing fine. The only thing is we've been to get really, really busy. It's barely beginning to increase. And um, uh, I need my caseworker in here more, more. And so she's offered to go full time. I said, I will take it. And so uh, instead of having a couple of people doing casework, it's just easier for her to come in and work a full time schedule. And she is paid out of township assistance. She's not paid out of Jennifer. She is paid out of, uh, of township assistance. Um, anybody have any questions on township assistance? It's, uh, again, the, you, you know, there's not too much. It's there, and um, uh, it seems to be going okay. I mean, I, I, and people's being taken care of. The next one is the fire fund. And it's 1.6 million. I told you last year I budgeted 921,000 this year, and I'm going back, and we got an additional appropriation a little bit later that I'm uh, uh, adding, doing the additional appropriation of, of uh, 600,000. So that will take it up to uh, just over 1.5 million this year. But uh, next year I decide maybe I'll be smart, be ahead of the ball game, and put 1.6 in there. Now. 
with the fire fund, with the city of Carmel, it's through a fire, this is a fire contract, okay? And in the, in this fire contract, we have to pay at least two and a half percent for home place. Home place is the only thing that's in the unincorporated part of the township. So through the AV and stuff, it's going to be approximately a half a million. Now, there's been discussion about since Southwest Clay has then went into the city, a lot of this co-op money is actually belongs to the city. So there's discussion on it. Uh, the fire contract is not done for this year because we um, have been kind of going back and forth. So, and it's not the, the attorney or the, or the um, accountant's fault. It's kind of, um, I've been talking to some people that I don't feel real comfortable with it right now. Um, I have given Brian the, the information tonight to uh, look into it and see what we need to get done. But uh, I really don't think we need to give them more than what we say we will give them, the $1.5 I, I just, I, I mean, you know, after looking at this over and over, uh, you know, and coats down anyway. So, you know, and I don't mind giving them their fair share either. So, anyway, once we do the fire contract, you guys will hear more about this. Okay. Uh, that is all of the tax, the property tax funds. There's four of them. General fund, township debt service, township assistance, and the fire fund. The next two is the park, not averting park capital fund and the park and recreation fund. The park and recreation fund is around 107,000. Uh, again, we pay two and a half percent. So it's probably, it's going to be a little bit lower. We always stick a little bit of money in the extra in there because you never know what might come up. You never know what Mark might need or something. And so, <laughs> so if that increases the general fund, then we're going to have to pay more. So, so like I say, that was the only, there's only like a $3,000 increase in that one. And like I say, that's all COVID. Uh, the park, not running park capital fund, I told you earlier, is $2.5 million. Um, it's an increase of $1.2 million over last year. But again, they received that in COVID. And it, it's, not a, it's not a real big thing unless all of a sudden our COVID goes away. Then Mark probably won't be building any, uh, developing any parks if that would happen. Uh, but, but anyway, that's, that's the fund. That, that's our $10,228,628. If anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Paul? No, very clear. Matt? Crystal. I just want to thank you. I'll tell you, when I first started as a township board member, reading those charts that were in front of us, trying to keep up with what was going on was just terrifying mm -hmm. <laughs> because you, it just went all over the place. This is really terrific. So thank you very much. All right, any discussion about this? Do we go on and vote now? Or is there anything else you need to no. say about it? All right. May I have a motion to approve uh, the 2013 budget? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. We now have a budget. Thank you on that. Okay. The next order of business is approval of uh, the EMS budget and Doug you mm -hmm. want to give us a little yeah. discussion every, on that. every year when we do the budget it's a, a part of the joinder with the city of Carmel on the fire budget they have um, they have a um, ambulance fund and it's for user fees um, and so as part of the um, ordinance the city has we both the, the city and the township has to uh, submit a letter approving the EMS fund, okay? But it is user fees, so no other money goes in there but user fees. So if you call an ambulance and they take you to the hospital, uh, then you pay into this fund. If you don't use the ambulance, then you never pay into this fund. Um, this next year, it's, it's a one, $1,052,519. Um, I did call the fire department because a little concerned if they're bumping it up that much and it was like four hundred thousand dollars more this next year and i was a little concerned because what they're bringing in this year didn't look like it was going to match up and then i when i called the fire department and talked to them they have an excess in there this year so they're going to they're going to be fine okay they're going to have like an excess of four million dollars or i mean not four million they probably wish that uh mm. four hundred 
thousand uh, dollars that they're going to um, have, you know, back up to this to to help support this this. Because like I say, when I when I seen the over a million dollars, I was a little concerned about that. Uh, but it's doing fine, and uh, they assured me of that that there is uh, like I think four million or four hundred thousand in there at this time. So they're going to be able to carry that o over. I I have a, a ask our counselor a, a question on paragraph two, if I could. Um, in here, the way it's worded, and and I guess. This happens a lot, but I really caught it this time. Upon written agreement between the city of Carmel and Clay Township. But it, how would you define that? Because the city of Carmel is Clay Township, too. This is all Clay Township. And I wondered if you it's the agreement between the city of Carmel and the Clay Township board, rather than saying Clay Township, because the city of Carmel is part of Clay Township. Does that make any sense it just oh. read funny to me Th this isn't my work product but I oh that I very clearly says to me Clay Township not the city of Carmel I mean that, that is a separate political subdivision so called Clay Township Clay Township okay and all right Clay thank County, you County, Indiana, well, it seems to me that if you were going to define the Clay Township board you'd have to say the common council of the city of Carmel as well right and okay. so it would be an agreement with if there would be an agreement with the subdivision not the legislative body okay all right thank you okay yeah, I think that's right. yeah. any discussion uh, I had asked you a couple meetings ago to kind of check into this because I still think this is a little bit goofy when they don't if I go to the hospital in an ambulance a chances of well, not me personally but chances are you're not getting paid for it the city of Carmel doesn't go after that money they're not filing lawsuits and then in the city of Carmel, 90% of the, the people that are going to the hospital have insurance that are paying into that anyway. So I'm not sure exactly what this, how this, the number can be accurately created for ambulance runs when they're not always going to encumber what money they have. And then when they do, it's encumbered from an insurance company, not from the private individual, I, I guess. I'm not quite following. What do you mean they're not? We're not, they're not going to get the money. I don't know. No, I, I don't understand how an accurate number is drawn up for this fund when it, <clears throat> it's paid into if someone comes, picks me up, takes me to the hospital. I owe money into, I have to pay money. Cost right, them. right. Mm -hmm. Chances are, if you don't have insurance, you're not paying the money. In the city of Carmel, historically, has never gone after people for that money. They're, I mean, they're not going to sue somebody over an ambulance run. It just, it just historically hasn't no. happened. What we, I, I, coming from the fire department, I, I mean, when we started this, one of the things we were really concerned about even charging people was our concern that there's people out there that won't call us when they really should call us. And that was a concern. But I will tell you, I, I can't think what the percentage is, collection percentage is, but it's incredible here in Carmel. That's because we it all have insurance. Compare, okay, Ex exactly. But still, there's been people that's come here to our office asking for assistance there's some that we have helped uh, but there's others we haven't because of course being over our guidelines and stuff but you'd be surprised how well they work with the fire department I mean they do they will set up a payment plan if you want to pay ten dollars a month pay ten dollars a month however they do have a collection they now go after them so I'm not sure where you say heard they don't go after them but I know they do now isn't it something like a 75 80 percent collection rate it's pretty no, high it wasn't that wasn't that high no it really wasn't because again that was something we were we were concerned concerned with um, but and, and I, I hate to tell you this I don't have the numbers with me on that uh, but uh, no we we really didn't I mean we did very well on that and as a matter of fact oh gosh they just gave me a collection they probably run 80 percent collection I bet you they run anywhere from 78, 80 percent is what they collect. I mean, it's incredible. And, and as a matter of fact, I know when I was with the fire department, they, the, 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 I got criticized from a lot of the chiefs in the state about, you're crazy, you're not going to get that, there's no way. But it goes back, Matt, to what you just said. In Carmel, they have insurance. And people are good about paying 
paying for their ambulance service. Our biggest concern was more than the people that wouldn't call us when we got into it, that wouldn't call us because they didn't have the money. You know, that was that was a concern of I mean definitely of mine, and I know former uh, Chief Couts when he was chief at the time. You know, but it, 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 like I say, their, their collection is probably 78, 80 percent, and I, I know because I've got it, I've got it in a sheet they sent me they, every month and you guys will get it from me occasionally every month they will send me what their collections are for the year and uh, I'll stick it in your file a lot of times uh, for you to look at but they they do quite well quite well but I don't know who who made the comment that they don't go after them they do and they do do some write-offs I will tell you that they write off some of it uh, but uh, no uh, you know that's, I mean, that's hey, from my experience. I'll defer. You're the former fire chief. Yeah, I mean, you'd know. Well, did, I mean, was it people saying that that, that we didn't go after them? No, it's you just encumber. I just feel like you're going to encumber more money than it costs for an, if an if an ambulance service is billed at five thousand dollars a run. I have no idea what it is, mm -hmm. but it's it truly doesn't cost that much, and you're encumbering at least that much from the insurance company. It seems to me that if your twenty percent aren't paying. That the pro the profit made off of the eighty percent well, that are making it should be a complete wash. I guess it's well, but you can't think of it, think of it that well, way. I am. I mean, okay. <laughs> what, what you're going to when you look at that, we're looking at ambulance services. First of all, these guys are firefighters, paramedics, firefighter EMTs. Okay, so they do both jobs. It comes out of the general fund. Their salaries and everything come out of the general fund. So that overhead is gone. I mean. This EMS fund doesn't pay for that. What the EMS fund was established was to pay for supplies and basic equipment. And then it became apparatus. So when you turn around and you look at these fire trucks out here and, and these cars and these ambulances, it's pay, paid from this EMS fund, majority of it. Once in a great while, you might have, you know, well, we bought the aerial ladder the one year, okay? And you might say, have that. But basically, they, they set it up to where they have semi-annual payments for that apparatus out of that EMS fund. So don't think that when, when you look at this, I mean, we have different levels, and it goes up to like five or six, seven hundred dollars is what they pay. They pay so much a mile, and then certain things that they charge people for uh, equipment-wise. But, um, but no, it's, it's the only thing they're paying for out of that EMS fund is the apparatus, the equipment, the equipment that they use for EMS, fire hoses, axes. I mean, uh, it's cap capital. It's capital. Ca yeah, I mean, so they, they pay a lot of that. Kind. You know, in, when I was there, you know, the um, um, at the stoplights. Uh, what is it they call that? The, where the flashing light. Where it the the police the or fire are responding, and it switches the lights. That was paid out of there. Out throughout the city, it was paid out of that fund. So since they went to roundabouts, it just saved the EMS fund some money. <laughs> you know. All right, I'm but, satisfied. Okay, but anyway, that's you know. But yeah, Matt, if you turn around and you said, okay, we're paying firefighters out of this and and their benefits. Oh, yeah, there was no way that would happen. There's just no way it could support that. But to buy apparatus, I mean, a truck, fire truck out here, an engine, first line pumper is a half a million dollars. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, 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 pardon me? They got it. Yeah. Yeah, they've got they've got this all in, in there. So anyway, uh, you know, it, it you know, what you're welcome to call me anytime and people from home you can call me. I, I you, you know, uh um like I say, my, my biggest problem was it with the you know, in the, my younger days it was the fact that people not calling us when we started charging. We hated that. We really hated that, but you know, it was a smart move. It was a smart move because insurance companies will pay, and there's a lot of nice. I mean, we, we have nice equipment. 